In this video we are going to create a new stair. So when you open stair designer you get this start dialog box. We're going to click on the first option new multi-flight stair. So that's one way to get into there. You can let's just cancel that. You can also click here on this icon or go to file and the first option. We're going to concentrate on this models tab. So we have some models to choose from stairs without landings and below stairs with landings. We're going to select this number two, model number two, which is a quarter turn stair with winders. We then have a range of parameters below. The first one is method. This is a group of preset ways you want to build the stair, so you can apply it very quickly. Stair designers quick design libraries come with a variety of methods or you can create your own. Uh, we look at this elsewhere. So first of all, let's look at the floor height. That is the height of the stair. So the height from one floor to the next, which is normally going to be the ground floor to the first floor. Let's leave that at 2.8 meters. And then we've got rotation. That's if we want the stair to turn to the right or left. You can change it like this. Let's leave it on right. Now length of flight one. That is the length from this red line, which is the nosing of the first step, to the back of the stringer of the second flight. So where the string would be touching the wall if there was a wall in this project. Let's change that to two meters and we can see how that first flight has reduced in size. We've got the width of flight one now, which is set to a meter. That is the overall width of the stair, so the distance from the outside of the strings. Let's change that to 800 millimeters. And now length of flight two. This is measured from this red line, the nosing of the last step, to the back of the stringer of the first flight. I'm going to change that to two and a half meters and adjust the width of flight two as well to 800 millimeters. We have a landing step option. It's currently set at zero, so there is no landing step. Normally you are going to want to add one, so let's put one in a landing step of 100 millimeters. So you can now see that applied here. Please note the length of flight two hasn't changed. It's still two and a half meters. So what has effectively happened is the length of flight two has reduced by that 100 millimeters because we now have a landing step included within those overall dimensions, this length of flight two. Below those parameters are components. So the elements you want to add to your stair. We've got string boards on the left and right, but we could remove those if we want or just have them on the left or just the right. Let's put them both back in. Handrails to the right is selected so we can see the green handrail here. We have no lateral cut strings. We could add those, but we're going to show those another time. And newel posts, they're on the right as well with the handrail and they're shown here. Let's click OK and create this stair. So we can now see a plan view of the stair. Let's add some more detail and go to the view menu. Display the handrails. So that is now shown in green. View, display risers. They're shown by these dashed lines. Add step numbering as well. So we can see the number of each step. And finally, step dimensions. The dimensions of each step are now displayed. Please note these aren't shown in the free or demo version of Stair Designer as they're part of the manufacturing details. This icon up here will show our stair in 3D. So let's click on that. And I'm going to right click on the new tab that popped up and select new vertical tab group so we can see the plan version of the stair and the 3D side by side. Finally let's save our stair. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.